Well, we're on the 14th floor of the Beijing Hotel here in the heart of the Chinese capital, a location which has a very particular place in history. But let's go out onto the balcony and look first of all uh, at the quite fantastic view, the Beijing skyline laid out before us. And you can see those iconic roofs of the pagodas that make up the forbidden city here in the heart of the Chinese capital. And as we move around, you can see the southern end of the forbidden city, the Tiananmen Gate, where that portrait of Chairman Mao has hung for so many years. And just to the south of that is Tiananmen Square. And Tiananmen Square is why this particular location is so important, because 25 years ago exactly, it was from these balconies that foreign journalists filmed images which are now among the most famous in the world. Tank Man. He stood just down there in what is now a sea of traffic 25 years ago it was simply a sea of tanks, a column of tanks at the front of which he stood defiantly and he managed to stop them. And since then, many of the photographers who have reminisced about the pictures that they took have talked about how at the time they saw him moving out into the middle of the road and they were irritated. They thought he was going to ruin the composition of their shots, which were supposed to be shots of tanks. And then they realized he was a man who was out there to protest, out there to stop the tanks and potentially get shot and killed. And they realized, all of them, that they had iconic images that were on the front pages of nearly every single newspaper globally the following day. In terms of the incident itself, well, the journalists were here because they were covering the visit, the state visit, a few weeks before June the 4th. Uh, of Mikhail Gorbachev. He was here to meet the Chinese leaders. For that reason, journalists had been given access to the country, rare access, because foreign journalists were not particularly welcome. They came here, Mr. Gorbachev left, the journalists stayed. They stayed because they reckoned that the protests that were taking place at the time, peaceful protests, might turn nasty. But of course, it wasn't just here in Tiananmen Square and in Beijing. It was in cities right around the country. Protests were gathering momentum. And on June the 3rd, June the 4th, 1989, the patience of the ruling Communist Party had run out. An order came from on high that the military who'd been standing by for so many days should move in and move on the protesters. And so they did. And the Tiananmen Square massacre, as it's now known, took place. And to this day, it is an event which simply isn't discussed in China. It's quite staggering, really. You won't get people within China to talk about it. Of course, the Communist Party remains in power. The country has changed beyond all recognition, but no one mentions June the 4th.